Hey, what's up? YouTube Olson Bro here with another review, and I have my sweetheart Marin with me, my 10 year old daughter, and we're doing something different today. Okay, I'm kind of copying somebody else, another reviewer that I saw. Um, these are gadgets or, or products that are under 20 bucks. In fact, most of these are under 15 bucks, and um, kind of a cool little segment. I get a lot of different products, and I think I'm going to start doing it this way where I can group in some products together that are under a certain price point. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. But today we have three different products. One is a tri-top stand, which is an aluminum stand for your smartphone. One is a little uh, cable organizer, magnetic cable organizer. And then the last one is a fidget pen. So we'll save this one for last since Marin's kind of interested in this one. This is a, a, a tie-top stand. You wanna look at that one, Marin? This one is, in my opinion, very Apple-esque. Right? This looks a lot like my iMac computer. So we open it up. Yep. Okay. Very simple product. Mm. Doesn't that look like the iMac? Yeah. So it's an aluminum phone stand. And I um, want to grab Kate's phone over there. Yeah. So we'll set it right here. And the phone, simply, it's a stand. Not a whole lot to it. <laughs> but you can go vertical, it can go horizontal as well. And that looks a lot like your your Mac computer and then what's cool is just like on the iMac you run the wire from the back side just like this and of course it comes on the side on your phone at least on the iPhone but there you have it that's all it is it's a stand you can put it on your desk you can put it by your bed um, and you can use it it's a good viewing angle if you want to watch movies or YouTube videos or if you just want to set it there to, to look at look cool so it totally looks like an iMac when you, when you have it in vertical position like that. Um, I've used it with my iPhone 7 Plus just fine. This is an iPhone 6, I believe, with a huge, thick case. No problem whatsoever. So there you go. That product is only $17.11. I'll put a link in the description below for this one. So kind of cool, very simple, elegant, and it looks just like an Apple product would look. Next one. This is a magnetic uh, cable organizer. This is from a company called Robest, R-O-B-E-S-T. And um, cool idea. Now, I don't know if you're like me, but by my bedside, I have a little um, table and I have a, a power hub for multiple plugs, right? For, for iPhones, for iPads. And what happens is I have a really long one for my iPhone so I can lay on my bed and use my phone and have it charging. And that cable throughout the day is all over the place. When I have to go look for it, it's not just sitting there where I want it to be. Well, if that's a problem you face, this might be a cool little gadget for you. Let's pull it out. There we go. So what this is, Marin, this part here is, is the first base. It's a magnetic base. On one side, it has a magnet. It looks kind of wood color, which is a nice feature. On the other side, it's a sticker. So you peel off the backing and place this at the edge of your desk, wherever you want it. I'll put it here so you can see it. And then it also has another base, just a circle this time, with also a sticker on the back. So people, some people use this like in your, in your car. You can set it on your car, up on your dash. And then these other pieces, there's three of them. Want to hand me that cable again for the iPhone? So here's one of them. It's got a magnet on one side of it. You open it up just like that and it has a line running through it. I'll do a close-up of that. But then all you do is towards the end of this cable you run it through just like that and you push it together until it clamps together like that. All right. The only problem is, you know what, it's slipping on this so you got to put it up high. Let's see, there are three different there's one that's extra large on here. That's the big one. So there's one, two that are normal size and one that's larger for flat cables or for or larger round cables. This one, it doesn't seem to hold very tight. Maybe I have to do it right at the very tip of this. There we go, right at the very tip. So what you can do is now you have this on the edge of your nightstand and you can just put this just like that. So now it'll stay there. So then when you're looking for it at night, I can just grab it. Is that a strong magnet? Yeah, it's holding it up just fine. It's holding up that whole cable. 
So that's pretty good. And then of course you can have this one in your phone or in your car if you wanted, or even by your bed as well. Ooh, that one's very strong. So it'll hold it in place when you're looking for your cable and it's time you grab it. That's handy dandy. Is that handy dandy? Mm -hmm. Kind of cool. Um, it serves that's a purpose sweet. and it's something that I need. So I'm kind of kind of happy about it. Mm -hmm. I wish that this would hold a little bit lower on the cable. You know, it just seems to slip once you get it on this part of the cable. It's too too thin. So you have to put it up at the top of that cable where it's a little bit thicker. All right, so kind of cool. That product is only $10.99 on Amazon. I'll put a link for that one as well where you can check it out. And let's put Wait, it back in here for now. On the picture, it doesn't show it on the thick part. Yeah, they're different size cables. This may not even be an official Apple cable. I'm oh. not sure. <clears throat> I got so Wait, many Wait, see, this one's really thick. This one's thick. Yeah, that's a thicker one. All right, and then last but not least, we have this fidget pen. You want to open this one? Yeah, I need it. We'll let Marin check that one out for us. This is from a company called LEBE. -E. So the listing says it's a magnetic fidget pen spinner. All right, need some help? Well, that's what it says. I don't think it's, well, we'll see. It's not like a traditional spinner with a bearing, but you can probably fidget it or spin it around. Come on. <laughs> Boy, they make that hard to open up, don't they? Let's go. There we go. So show it in the camera. Ooh. Show what it looks like in the camera, the whole box. Oh. It's all right, turn it like this. I'll do a close-up of it. Ooh. So, It comes a pen. with, like, one, two, three, four, five, five something. Yeah, five parts. Yeah, five parts. Five five parts. Five five parts. parts. I don't know how it works. Let's see it. So do you notice anything different about it? Can you bend this thing? <gasps> oh. <laughs> so it this bends. This isn't an actual pen? Yeah, look at this. Okay, good. It totally bends, and look right here. Pull this part off right there. Pull the tip off. <gasps> There's the pen. Does it work? Well, it's right on a box. It's That's right on this cool. box right here. Let's see. <gasps> I want it. It totally <laughs> writes. And then so, this thing is like spin. So that thing, we'll show them up at the top here. So this thing here. It's got a little loose piece, probably okay. just a fidget with. It comes with magnets. So let's see these really, magnets. I bet you... Really strong magnets. Whoa. No, those aren't... These are the... Really and strong. these ones get on there, too. And then this one. This thing. This know, thing here. That. So there we go. We can spin <laughs> that around. There's, there's another little metal ball. Let's put the cap part on this one. Right all over my hand. Can't get it. There's another one. Here, let's see if I can get it with this. Oh. <laughs> Pull the whole thing up. Oh, there we go. Let's put it on the front. I want it. So, <laughs> so funky, huh? Ooh, All I sorts of little things to mess around with it. Maybe you could like decorate it. Yeah, I don't think there's a right way or a wrong way. <laughs> I think you can kind of just do whatever your heart um, desires with that thing. So obviously you don't want to fling it and hit anybody in the eye like your dad. But <laughs> so this little piece here on the end, this long skinny piece. That's a spring. Yeah, it's just a spring. And this, I don't want to break it. I had a bendy pencil and I bent it too hard and it broke. I don't want it to break. Well, it's a spring with on the ends of it. It's like a little metal cup. Look at so it's it actually holds rubber. These, these metal um, balls. I mean, magnetic balls really good. And then, why is it tiny? So these, well, more things to play with. <laughs> They're very strong magnetic oh, things, but each one of these come apart too. Little tiny mini, mini balls there. Like the whole thing is magnetic. Very cool. So something you'd use at school? Yes. Like uh, a teacher? If it was colorful, that'd be way better. Mmm, there you go, guys. Yeah. Whoever is making these things colorful. You'd colorful. Even, uh, she would like it even way better. And do like, teacher? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, almost hit me in the eyeball. Oh, look, let's do it like they did it. So they did it like... I'm listing. <clears throat> um, let's see. So they put it like that. Ooh, is that how they did it? Yeah. There you go. Like, so maybe this it's is... like, to, you can like hold it? Something? Yeah, you do whatever you want. Does it spin around like this now? No. Ooh, it wants to. It wants to. It wants to. to. 
So under 15 bucks, this thing retails for $15.99. That's not $14.98. Sorry, 14, $14.98. Not $15.99. I'm just making prices up. So I don't know how well, I guess that tip is, I don't know if it's magnetic. I don't think it's magnetic, it's yeah, just pressure. The tip. Oh, well, I mean, it's not as far as staying on this. Yeah. Kind of cool though. So there you have it. If you if you're at school and you can't have fidget spinners anymore, we can't. Yeah, she can't. I know school's out for most of you, but a fidget pen. Come on, what can they say about that, right? They don't even know. It's not. It bends in your hand. It doesn't have a grip. They want the cap. <laughs> you just have to be careful losing things. I think that's the only uh, problem with the fidget pen. You know, or fidget oh, with your dad's good. eyeball. So anyway, three products under 20 bucks. Almost all of them are under 15 bucks, except for this one, 17. You can't say all of them is only three, and you're talking about two. I said almost all of them. <laughs> My goodness. So three products under 20 bucks. All three of these products will also be listed on our website, olsonbro.com. Go check it out if you haven't already. It's a work in progress, still trying to you know figure out exactly what it's going to be but all these products will have links in there where you can buy them the checkout is through amazon so it's totally safe and secure she likes the fidget pen can you tell <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much for watching guys please like subscribe and share <laughs>